ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू यूज द फोर बिट फोर बिट मैग्नीट्यूड कंपेरेटर विद इन द सर्किट विजर्ड सो वी नीड टू क्लिक ऑन फर्स्ट क्लिक ऑन फाइल एंड देन ऑन न्यू हेयर वी हैव टू ऑप्शन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड एलिमेंट्री सर्किट सो वी विल सेलेक्ट द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स प्रोजेक्ट click okay and now we got all the devices on our right hand panel so click on gallery and just go into 4000 b series so it is the C, these are the cmo semiconductor ics okay now we will search for our what's called as the magnitude comparator so here it is 4063b Four bit magnitude comparator. So drag it out. Now, what is inside this comparator? There are eight uh, bit pins. Okay, input pins. A one, A two, A three, and A. A one, A two, A four, and A eight are the bits of the first number. Okay, first binary number. And B one, B two, B four, and B eight are the bits of the Second binary number. These are a is less than b, a is equal to b, and a is greater than b. So these are the outputs which are on the right hand side. But what about this one? These are the cascaded inputs which are on the left hand side. Wh what they used to tell us? They just used to tell us that there is one more IC. Like if if we want to Exceed the number of uh, bits. Okay, okay, so we can use one more IC whose input will be coming to this IC. That IC is not uh, so much significant, and and its bit are also not so much sig or least significant bit. But this IC's bit are the most significant bits. Okay, so now what will how we can. Uh, how we can simulate it out so we will go for our logic gates and we will take our inputs so it is a bit like uh, we can say a bit uh, uh, confusing topic so you you should have to uh, take some sort of interest as well in order to understand it okay now so we are going to place our inputs with all the bits all the input bits so it is uh, like this okay now these are our uh, if this one is our first binary number b b b port is our second binary number okay now we will go for cascaded cascaded concept is a bit like a confusing okay so you have to pay attention now we will okay and from where these uh, cascaded inputs are coming they are coming from one other ic okay which is the extension if we want to measure some more uh, bits then we can say these are the extension so but this one is the most significant bits okay so what will happen now so okay so this is and control c control v copy and paste it and control control v and control c like this and this one and this one so okay now we need to run it out now what happened actually so we need to first you can see that if uh, both a1 a2 a4 and a8 are zero b1 b2 b4 and b8 are also zero so both the bits are equal so why it is not on a is equal to b because because this ic don't know about either the previous ic which is the least significant either it is equal uh, to or not okay so what we need to do so if we want to 
okay if we want to make a uh, all equal so they are all equal so if we give here one then we will get a is equal to b then we will get a is equal to b okay only in this case okay and but if we like make it uh, a1 now this is now a port or a number becomes greater because it contains one and b contains all zero so so even if you change the cascaded inputs or outputs it is not going to change why it is so because it is the most significant so a one is greater if some one input is coming still it is not going to affect the output now if we use to make it b greater then you can see that our this uh, output becomes high and uh, still no also no effect on the input okay so uh, one more thing that we make uh, all this one 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 and one and all this okay now uh, all are one but uh, no output because we have to go for cascaded input and that is if it is high then our a is equal to b output probe becomes high so hopefully you got the concept that how we can use the 4 bit magnitude comparator within the circuit wizard so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe